Okay, so now we're going to go over how to do a one sample t-test if you're using Jamobi software instead of PSPP or SPSS. Um, so hopefully you've already watched all of the one sample t-test videos so that you have an idea theoretically of what's happening here. So this is another just sample made up data set where we have a pretest on some measure, a post test on some measure, and the age of the individuals. So to do a one sample t-test, we're going to come over here to the analyses tab. Why is this being all crazy? All right, we're going to come over to analyses. We're going to click on t tests and we're going to go to one sample t test. So this labels things much more cleanly uh, and much more easy to find than what PSPP does. So let's come down to one samples t test. So remember, what we're doing in this situation is we're saying, I have some known test value and I want to see if my sample is different. So maybe I'm going to compare, let's say that this was a measure of anxiety that goes from a scale of 1 to 100. And I want to see at the beginning of my study, did my participants have a statistically different anxiety rating than the average person who worked for this organization? Say it was a workplace anxiety reduction something. So I'm going to tell it what I want to look at is my pretest. So I'm going to highlight it and click this arrow to get it over here as a dependent variable. And I can drag this over. I always like to check this box for descriptives right off the bat because I like to have a reminder of what is my mean that I'm working with. So in my group here, my mean for my pretest was 55. And let's say that I know in general, among these types of workplaces, the average score on this anxiety inventory is a 70. So I'm going to type 70 into this box for a test value. That is my known test value and click enter. So now what you'll see is I know just based on common sense that 55 is quite a bit different than 70. If 55 was my group and 70 was the average. But I can see now here statistically that my result from doing a one sample t-test or a student's t-test gives me a negative 5.72 in comparing my group to our known mean of 70. And that this is just statistically significant at the less than P of 0 0.001 level. So this is a, a pretty strong result. You also have options over here for calculating the effect size, which will pop up over here as a Cohen's D. So you can do several things with this software. Um, so in this situation, I would have to say, okay, I know that I started with a group of participants who had a significantly lower pretest score than what we usually see. Let's say that I know that the average score on this test was a 50. I would change that and you can see now that we're kind of in a different boat. If I was comparing my mean group of a pretest score of 55 to a known test value of 50, this is no longer statistically significant. So in that situation, we would say, okay, my group that I chose was not statistically significant from the general population when it came to this test. And so that's how you do a one sample t-test using your Jamobi software.